All right, ladies and gents, welcome to a very special let's play of for for the month of Iwata, for the play for Iwata month, ladies and gents. It is me going back. Well, I'm go it's been a me. It's been a while since I played this game and LP it, but I'm finally going to be replaying it again. Yet again, I'm doing it again. This time around, we are doing the. I am doing the mirror mode. So basically. So basically, it's every track, but of course the whole uh, track is all mirrored, and it makes the hot makes it's a lot more difficult than 150 CC because it, all the turns are are reversed. All mirror, it's they are the same track layouts, only except that you have to go in the upper direction in terms of the whole entire layout. So of course, I am going to start off with, of course. The Mushroom Cup, as usual, and I'm playing as my me this time around. Alright, I'm doing a Formula 1-like car this time around. And, I'm, and I had an absolute brilliant flying start. Yeah, suffice to say, even though I haven't played this game for a long time, I, even though online mode can be too crazy at times, specifically because... Um, predictably, my uh, item luck in this game is abysmal in online. So, I to say, I do actually fare a lot better in the local multiplayer and in the single player, to be fairly honest. Unfortunate, and a lot of people are asking me, are you going to do two? Am I going to do two hundred CT? Oh, that was ugh, my own damn fault. I was expecting it for clean first type, but anyway, a lot of people say, am I going to do a hundred, two hundred CT? Well. To be very honest, I don't think I'm gonna consider. I don't. I'm not really considering on doing it anytime soon because it is incredibly difficult to do. Because I have to break all the time and it's way too fast. Now for open circuit, more open circuits like this one and of course a few others, it's not too bad. But when it comes to circuits with extremely tight turns and very very narrow, very very narrow uh, roads, it's not suitable. I just think that uh, Nintendo could have toned down the speed slightly just so that it make it a little bit more fairer. But I just want to say that it made a bit uh, the, my, that was that's my only criticism of 200cc. It's way too fast on the more, you know, narrower circuits where diff overtaking is a little bit more difficult. But so that's why I decided it was best to do just mirror, just do mirror mode. It's just challenging, but it's much more. It has it's a little bit more fairer though, and the speed is a little bit more. You know, it's 150 cc. So basically, it's so basically you get uh, people uh, using consistently using lightnings and um, blue shells, but not as much as <coughs> Mario Kart Wii. So basically. The difficulty in 150 CT, the AI is a lo lot better than that of uh, Mario Kart Wii. But then again, that's to ex be expected because I know people like me complain that Mario Kart Wii's AI is too rubber banded and way too unfair. That's why I absolutely hated 150 CC mode in that game. In this game, it's a much different story as it's much more, you know, fair. So now we're off to Water Park, and I loved it. This is an absolutely fantastic track, and it could have come at a better time, considering it is summer after all. Oh, and speak it. Oh, I'm going over. I'm going to go to it to Wave Pool one day. Well, at least I actually am prepared. If I ever overtake DK, he got a red shell, and at least he, I actually got a banana peel. Yeah. Yes, a lot of people probably want to ask why my item luck like, in the online multiplayer mode is abysmal. Well, there's one thing. The item roulette can either give me a very useful item to defend myself with, like such as a banana peel or shell, or even screw me over with dinky little cut, or even screw me over with these things with the, with the dinky coins. I mean, for God's sake, there are coins on Nintendo. There were coins. There are coins on a track, you know. And to be fairly honest, don't bring about the coin 
and bringing back the coin item was probably one of the worst ideas that they ever had when it came to this game. Probably the worst ter the most the worst idea of the lot. In terms of items. In fact, in fact, in my honest opinion, I would have rather had more had more the more abundance of super super horns. Be a little bit more, you know, a uh, lot less rare and much more, you know, well, not as, but not as, you know, uh, consistent as, but not as uh, frequent as the banana peels or the sh green shells. But in honesty, get rid of the coin. Next, if they, um, if there's something that we should learn for the next uh, Mario Kart game, get rid of the coin power up. It's probably the most useless uh, uh, power up ever. Even though it will give you a bit of a coin boost, while well, you actually are, if you actually lose a few coins well, when you get hit by an item, don't, I rather it got scrapped for good. It wasn't, and it wasn't even consistent in Super Mario Kart neither, because in Super Mario Kart it was not as often, if you didn't get the item as often, you got more, you, you, know, got, be you got better weapons. All yeah, right. Oh, my my favorite Sugar Rush Mountain is back. Sugar Rush Mountain, here we come. I know it's Sweet Sweet Mountain, but I caught Sugar Rush Mountain because of... it runs by my because I really want because because sometimes because it's my honest opinion. So, uh, the most of times, uh, uh, most of times, I usually am a bit of a sweet tooth. I have a bit of I have a bit of a sweet tooth to be fairly honest. It's how this it's how this track looks, basically. I do love this. And it reminds me, and of course it reminds me of a certain, you know, pink certain uh, pink pony from MLP, Friendship is Magic. Yeah, I'll stop before I uh piss a few uh before I annoy a few people off. I didn't say that, didn't I? Oh yeah, just keep it, I'll just keep it to myself. <sighs> yeah, but for any, but, to, but in all seriousness though, this one, this one's not too bad. Oh, I did, goodness gracious me, what was, what happened there? I couldn't believe the water is was custard, you know, but it clear custard. Custard is usually all yellow, but but it looks more like typical water that it is. Uh, I didn't want to hit that. Um, oh no! Ah, no, no. oh. lost some places. God oh, damn it! Get back here, Toad! I want a mortar fight. Oh, oh, who did that? Get out of my way, Yoshi! And you too, Morton! Okay, whoever hit me deserves to be shot! I wouldn't be surprised if it was baby de- if it was either baby daisy or ba- or any of the babies, because because they are that ruthless. If they're rat ruthless, I might as well- I might as well file a me lawsuit against them. Maybe get Toadsworth to put, put the bill. Seriously though, certain characters can absolutely be outrageous at times. But at least I still managed to finish ahead of the pack though. I'm still ahead of DK. Even though it's not over, I'm still in a good position to win this. Alright, so what's next? It's yet yes, one of my probably one of my favourites in the game, Flop Ruins. Love this stage. It's not only just the overall feel that looks more like an Indiana Jones theme, it's of course the music as well. And how isn't it also how this stage looks as well? And of course what inside the caverns it looks more, you know. If it, if uh, because of those some of those boulders, it feels like you're actually uh Trying to get that bolt to chase from uh It's the uh, no, no it doesn't have a actual bolt. No, it's actually these um rock things. Git that looks like git rock 
stone gears, but... Oh, for who did that? DK? Goodness gracious me! But anyway, instead of... Oh, what?! Are you kidding me? This is really starting to... Make my blood boil! No, not really, but still, I was good. Somebody having those uh, free shells. Uh, is it just to, just to deter me from overtaking? Really annoyed. It's really annoying. There's those uh, gear rocks. The only thing that can be uh, very, very, that can be probably one of the most. Uh, the one thing you need to watch out for is, of course, the forms themselves. Because they can stomp down without at least the, the least you know it. I'm gonna wait till that you can't win. I'm gonna wait, One Piece. You're no longer going to. You're no longer worthy to crush. Pound me down. All right, final lap. Let's get. Let's keep. Let's get this home. Oh, oh! Uh, I, at least I actually managed to uh, get it down just in case. I'm just going to avoid the pumps here. Whose boomerang is that? I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take that shortcut risk in case I lose seconds and eventually lose my lead to Toadette. Oh, that was close! But no cigar. Definitely. Uh, oh, perfect 60. Per clean sweep. Oh yeah, clean sweep. Decided to uh, get that uh, as my favourite so I can actually um, get that. I'm actually going to probably do a new, um, probably do a couple of... Uh, Highlight reels just to know what has happened. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, some of the highlights of that particular thing. Wee! Water park! We'll just have a look at the um, results. All first, the clean sweep. From Mario Kart Stadium to Fort Ruins. Whoa. Yay, indeed. All right, so get those points down. And we got the go and we won the gold. Yeah, d yeah, that was pretty good. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next time. For the next time, where I'm going to be doing the Flower Cup with, of course, Toadette herself. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in part two of the mirror mode run of Mario Kart 8.